How did you learn to do a good Australian accent? Ah, oh, uh, do you know, uh, how did I do, how did I learn to do an um, accent? I think, oh, thank you very much. Um, I, I think I had to audition for an Australian once and so just I just sat there and I, I think I watched an episode of Neighbours and just repeated everything they said and then it just went in. Oh my lord, the that's joy. very quick. Now the here joy. we are talking to you backstage <laughs> at the Aldrich Theatre. Yes. Yes. And as we speak, um, this is one of the VIP rooms, but yeah, as we speak, yeah. they're setting up on stage. Yes, they are. Because it's not long before the performance. What what do you do before the performance? Uh, I tend to come in, have a coffee, uh, do a vocal warm-up and a physical warm-up on stage with all the company. And um, and then I go to my dressing room, have my pink curls done by my lovely wiggy mark. Yes. Catch up on all the gossip. Catch up. Oh, we have a lot. We have a lovely, <laughs> lovely gossip and uh, catch up. He's it's always the wiggies. He's, uh, he's partially my therapist. Yes. Um, and uh, and then put my makeup on. Cool. And then that's, that's kind of what would make you nervous what about me tonight's nervous? shirt? I mean, I'm, you've been doing the show a long time. But is there, if someone, what would someone have to say to you to make you nervous tonight? Um, that someone famous is it? <laughs> so if, if like they who? say, no, it, it, it can be anyone. So I just say, look. If there's someone of a of a famous nature in, just no say problem. just say there's someone in that you you're probably going to meet afterwards. Don't tell me a name. Right. If I know it's a name, then I'll start to do my whole performance, like <laughs> imagining what they would have thought about what I've just done. It's too specific. Yeah. yeah. So it's General sort of like a wink to person. say, there's make someone, sure you're on your there's game. <laughs> there's someone in. <laughs> there's someone in, guys. <laughs> Beautiful is sort of like a jukebox musical. Yes. But. Is it fair to say that there's more meat on the bones in this show? 100%. Yeah, because I, it, there's just so much more to it than you expect from a show that's just with, you know, popular music. Yeah, um, I absolutely agree. I, I saw the show uh, before I was in it, uh, a good friend of mine, Katie Braben, was playing Carol before mm -hmm. me. And I, I loved it. And I, uh, the, it's the, uh, my most favourite musical I've seen in probably a decade. Yeah, me too. Best commercial musical I've seen in about a decade. And I just loved it. And I went, why do I love this show more than another jukebox mm. musical? And I went, ah, it's written like a play with music. Mm. There's, there's no real moment where they're singing just for the sake of singing a song. I'm feeling emotional, so I'm going to sing. There's always a reason to sing the song, which is they've written a lyric, they've written a melody, and they mm -hmm. need to put them together. So there's a realness about it, which I don't know any other musical that has that realness. Mm -hmm. So because there's no suspend your disbelief, this character's about to sing for mm -hmm. no reason, people can invest in it more and, and believe it more. And also too, it is her music. It is her story. Yeah. So they, you know, it's, it's a bio musical about her. Absolutely, yeah. Very much so, but the music, you know, She's and she also wrote biographically often, didn't she? I mean, Tapestry is yeah, you know, is very is her, well, stuff. So her early stuff, maybe not so much, uh, <laughs> not so much early stuff, but Tapestry certainly I was, was. I cried when her mother came in and told her just get back to writing songs. And I know you didn't need Jerry to help you get through, no. You know. <laughs> with her at Hyde Park last summer uh, which was unbelievable <laughs> I mean uh, and actually the whole cast did there um, tell me she's lovely she's lovely <laughs> and you know what's so lovely is um, I, I get you know people go oh she's lovely she's lovely and like yeah everyone's gonna say that yeah, everyone's yeah. gonna say that but she really is. and and so I was like yeah but maybe she won't be and then you meet her and you're like you're like oh my god she's just, she's just lovely she's very warm she's very focused she's very um, vital like she's very um, she doesn't seem her age at all, no, no. at all. Um, and you're too young to really have grown up with Carole King's music, really. Yeah. So what was your relationship to Carole King before you, you... Before the show? Um, the honest answer is that um, I sang Natural Woman as my audition song for about 10 years. So that was oh, my... Oh, okay. So I had that as a, as a pretty big connection, like all these casting directors must have been like, oh, she's going to sing Natural Woman again as her rock pop song. Um, but it was just my, my go-to song. So God's sake, put her in the Carol King <laughs> yeah, show. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> but um, really, honestly, apart from that, um, I really didn't know much about her. Mm. I really didn't know much about her at all. 
When you look at yourself objectively, do you consider yourself an actress, a singer, someone who has to do it all? Because you've done such a variety. Like, for instance, when you were doing Candide. Oh, you saw that? Yes, I did. Oh, Love yeah, it. yeah. Did you, know, did, did you see yourself as being in a Carol King musical? Do you know, you know what I mean? When you're doing something so different. Yeah, um, or actually Candide was very much out of my normal bracket. I'm not okay. really um, a classical uh, singer in more that legit. sense. I, more legit singer. Mm. Um, I can sing like that, mm. but it's not it's kind not. of where my heart lies. So that was my first kind of... Beautiful production. Oh my God, it was amazing. Mm. I've, never, I've never thought that production that show really worked until I saw that. Uh, do you know, so many people said that. Mm. It was the, um, having it in the round and mm. the, the immersive feel of it, mm. it was um, it was genius. And then, uh, and uh, I, I've never played a character like Paquette before. Uh, it was fun. Mm. <laughs> um, so this is actually much more of the ballpark of what I'm happy doing. And um, this is how I naturally sing, really. So um, when I was up for the, uh, for the part, for the auditioning for the part, um, I kind of went. This is this is where I sit. I and often in musicals you're trying to belt really high like Alpha Burr yeah. and, and have that twangy quality. And mm. it was so nice to just go. Oh, I can just use my normal voice. Yeah, it's almost like she sings from the speaking voice. Yeah. So there was uh, and for me like I, I I naturally have a very low resonant voice. Mm. So to be able to use that was like oh thank God. Mm. Um, and uh, so the original question was, do I consider myself a singer performer? I consider myself an artist. So mm. someone that. Um, is creative broadly because mm. I think sometimes you have to pigeonhole yourself and yeah, I, I think not... creation is creation yeah. you know creativity yeah. is creativity and however it happens to come out is how it happens to come out it seems like everyone gets along you no, know? we get on great we and, and I suppose that helps yes you know you seem like a happy person happy people like to be happy when they're working <laughs> yeah. and everything yeah and um and it really is important to have this feeling of support of each other and and also I think there's um a mutual love of the show like yeah. everyone in the show knows it's a really special show mm. um special musical really because mm. it's it's kind of its own little genre I mm. feel especially certainly in the West End at the moment and um so I think we all share that mutual love of keeping the show in a good place mm. and caring about the show and the relationships are very personal so yeah. I, you know you've sort of got to relate to one another yeah otherwise it sort of shows and also the the script is great. Like it's probably the best musical script I've mm -hmm. ever had the joy of doing. It's uh, it was written by Doug McGrath, who worked a lot with Woody Allen. So it has this lovely um, tastiness to it. That mm. you, that is it's a good word, there. tastiness. Yeah. Tasty. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so when you go back to dressing room now, we'll, think, we'll wind up. What what will you do next? Um, I will check my phone. <laughs> <laughs> the messages, yeah. um, and then I'll probably have a coffee and um, look at some notes because uh, we had the American associate director over last oh, week. You, you leave some notes, and, and, um, and I've got some notes that I'm going to refresh myself go. with. Well, thank you very much for talking with us. It's Pleasure. Been an absolute delight to meet you. You too.